Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 on my design and tape tips dot com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We've got another free module. And it's a flip box module. Flip boxes are absolutely awesome because they're interactive for your visitors. Plus you can double up on the content because when you hover over a module, it'll flip into real extra content. And when people are mousing around your site, it's a great way to get their attention when things like this happen. This is really easy to do and a wonderful thing to have on your website. So let's get started. So here we have our site. If we look down here, we've got three little flip boxes. One on the left, got a little title, a subtitle. It's going to flip around to reveal a bit of content and a call to action button. This next one got the same thing, but it's got a drop down. And the one over here, we've got it zooming in. And of course, we've got the same again. And there's all manner of different configurations you can do with these things. I'm just using them for a little info boxes here. And they're great little interactive features to have on your site. If somebody's mousing around and this sort of thing happens, it's going to get their attention pretty quickly, which is exactly what you want. Of course, these sort of effects will work better on a desktop site, but they will work on tablet and mobile. People just have to click on them or tap on them as needed. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. OK, once enabled, let's go down. I'll start a new little section here. Little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. And yeah, let's make them a bit bigger this time so you can see what's going on. I'll put two columns in there. OK, before we get started, I better tell you where to get these from. If you've watched our previous two videos, you already know, and you may well have it already. But for those that don't... So to do this today, we're going to install the free Divi Supreme Modules Lite plugin. And if you watched yesterday or the day before's video, you may already have this. But for those of you that don't, it's a fantastic little plugin. It's got 20 extra modules, one of which is the flip box that we're demonstrating today. It's also got some extensions and some wonderful features that you can use. And we've demonstrated those in our Divi Supreme Light Modules playlist. You can find the link to that down below the video if you're interested in learning more. It's fairly lightweight, doesn't take up much space at all. And I'll take you through the whole install process. Let's get back to our build. We need to go over here and I'll put this link down below the video. Roll on down. Go to Divi Supreme Lite here. Click the More Info button. And then the Get Started button. That'll take you to the download page here. And this is, as I said earlier, absolutely free. Hit the Download button. As you can see, it's downloaded it to my browser here. I'm using Google Chrome. Your file is going to download to whatever your default download location is. Once you've got it, we can go back to the site. We'll go down to the dashboard and down to plugins and hit add new plugin. That'll take you to this page. We want to upload a plugin, so we'll hit the upload plugin button right there. And you can either hit the choose file and browse to your download location. Well, mine's sitting right here, so I can drag it up and just drop it there. I'm not going to install mine because I've already got it. But you need to hit install. Once it's installed, hit activate. Once you've done that, you'll find a little Divi Supreme menu item down here on the left hand side. And you should be good to go. OK, back to our little page there. Once you've installed that module, if we roll down here. All these blue ones here are the 20 extra modules that you get with this. And there's some absolutely great free modules here. There really are. So today I'm going to use the flip box. There it is, Supreme flip box. Initially, it'll have nothing in it. So we need to add a new item. We'll go into the text and put in whatever text you want to put in there. I'll use the same as I did before. You can put a custom subtitle in there if you want to. As you can see, that appears underneath. And the reason it's disappearing there, because it's flipping when I hover over it. Now, if you want to put some content in there, you can do so in the 
underneath and this is a regular WYSIWYG text area so you can put text add media if you want to create bullet lists create headings whatever you need to do I'm going to leave mine just like that similar to the one on top there I'm not going to bother using an icon but you can do just flip that and choose an icon if you want to or click add image if you want to add your own image again I'm happy to just have the title and stuff on there I wouldn't link this to anywhere because it's going to flip around so I'll leave that out if you want to add a button you can do so down here button's not going to turn up until you put a link in so if I say click put a link in there you'll see the little button appears there but again I'm not sure that's a good idea because it's flipping around we can configure this to just flip on button click and I'll show you that in a minute in which case would be a good idea for a button there so let's just get rid of that I'm just going to have my title there okay background let's pop a little color in just like I did before let's use a different color I'll use a purple this time we'll put a background image in there and let's pop this little fellow in I'm going to combine that color with the image so that we can get our text to stand out a bit better I'm going to make that text white in a moment so to combine the color with the image while we're in the image you can use parallax if you want but not if you're going to blend it I'm going to blend mine with that color purple we put in there so background image blend I'm going to flip from normal to multiply and there's some crazy things you can get going with this luminosity and saturation some of my favorites here I think I'm going to stick to my multiply that'll work for me today great well let's pop over to our design we've got the image and icon so I can skip over that one the text it'll do it all at once if you're in the text tab right here vertical alignment center that's good you can either put it on the top or the bottom if you want to I'm going to pop mine in the middle and let's make it light so you can actually see it that's great and of course you can do them individually by going down to title text let's make it a little bit bigger I'll capitalize it I'll make it semi bold perhaps of course Divi has got a crazy amount of fonts to audition one just roll over it it'll give you an example let's put the acne font in there just for a bit of fun and let's make it a little bit bigger and of course you can make your title text and everything else different colors if you want to right there and for our subtitle text subhead text right here colors fine I'll make it semi bold again just so it stands out a little bit more perhaps make it just a little bit bigger something like that fantastic great so I'm fairly happy with that let's save that it'll take us back to our main flip box settings and we'll add another item and the other item is going to be the flip side of it so on this side I'm not going to put a title or subtitle I'm just going to put a bit of content in here if I flip over there you can see that content right there and again I'm not going to put an image or an icon in possibly add a button to it say some more info or whatever you want to put on yours obviously put a link in that button will show up there it is right there fantastic always best practice if you're linking to your own site open it in the same window if you're linking off site open it in a new tab that way your site's going to stay open and let's add a background again I'll chuck that purple color in we'll chuck a nice dark background in and make that text light that's great and you can position your image and everything there I'm happy for it just to cover and do what it's going to do there over in design we can style our button but first thing I want to do I'm going to pop everything in the middle again so I'm going into the general text and you'll notice when I flip it to middle it'll put the button in the middle also great 
Let's make that text light in color. That's okay. I want to style that button a bit and perhaps give it a bit of padding left and right. So let's go down. That body text, I think I could probably make it semi-bold, make it stand out a bit more. We've not blended that color in the background, so let's do that. The image roll down at the bottom. Again, I'll use multiply. I should make that text a little more easy to read. Fantastic. That works. So we'll go to that text again. I'll make it semi bold. Yeah, that's a lot easier to read. Like I said, I want to make that button a little bit smaller, perhaps have it white initially, the text part, and add a bit of padding. So still in the design, we can roll down. Here's our button. I'm going to hit the custom styles. Button text color, I'm going to make that white. And button border color, I'm going to make that white too. And back up here, text size, I want to take that down a bit. Well, I might capitalize it. So let's try 12 pixels. Just put in the 12, it'll put the pixels for you. That's okay. I'm going to take that border down a bit and I'm going to capitalize the text on that button. So rolling down, border width, try one pixel. That's fine. I'm going to capitalize the button text. It's okay, let's try semi bold, maybe too much. I think that works okay. And finally, I'm going to add a bit of padding either side. So if we roll down to our spacing here, padding left and right, try 30 pixels. Again, just put in the 30, it'll put in the pics, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. Great. Well, that's really easy to read. Fantastic. So we've got our basic setup of our little flip card there or flip box. If we save it, we're back in the regular Supreme flip box settings here. If we go over to our design now, you can choose the sort of animation that you want down here. At the moment, it's going to happen on hover. You can flip it to just happen on button click. I'm going to leave it on hover because I quite like that. If we were, like I say, if you're going to put a button on the front end, you could have it on click so they knew to click on it. And that will work better for tablet and mobile too. At the moment, we've got it set to flip. You can have it slide. And once you set it to slide, you can decide whether it's slide up, down, left or right. Let's have it slide down, perhaps. As you can see, that one slides down over the top. And you can change the actual animation speed that it does it here. If you want it really slowly slide down, take it up more to the right. And that's a really nice little feature. Great, so I think we're all done with that. Let's save our changes and make sure that it's going to work on the front end. I'm going to go down, hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. If we go on down, when I hover over, it's going to drop down with that extra content on top there. And that's a really nice little feature. Of course, once you've done one, you can just copy it over to the next one and change out the content if you want to keep the same styles and everything. Really easy to do. That's exactly what I did with these up here. Excellent. Well, there you have it. Here's how to add some flip boxes to your Divi WordPress site. As you can see, really easy to do, a really eye-catching feature to have on your site. As we mentioned earlier, hover effects are great, work best on desktop, but these will also work on tablet and mobile phone also. People will just have to tap on them rather than hover over them. And if you use the button click option rather than the hover option, add a button to the front side, it'll work perfectly on all devices for you. That's an option entirely up to you. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, 
comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's always great to hear from you. It gives me ideas for new videos every time. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the Divi Supreme Lite module, have a look at our Divi Supreme Lite playlist. It should pop up over here any minute now. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.